Welcome back to the second part of our beautiful conversation with His Eminence, Giuseppe Cardinal Bisaldi. Siya po ang prefect ng Congregation for Catholic Education. Alam po ninyo sa part 1 ng ating interview, nakita po natin ang role ng isang ina o role ng isang pamilya ay napaka-importante. Para maging successful ka, kung ikaw man ay isang presidente, isang pare, isang cardinal, isang obispo, dito pinakita niya ang inspiration should always comes in the family. So ano kaya ngayon ang pag-uusapan namin? Siya po ang subaybayan ninyo sa pagbabalik ng Power to Unite with Elvira. Eminence, thank you so much for agreeing to continue, you know, our enlightening conversation about your life, about your family. And there is no doubt the role of a parent, especially the mother, plays a very important part in everyone's life, you know. Here, it's very evident, you know, the support, the moral guidance, you know, is very evident, you know. And what is so nice with your mom is that she understands. You know, you're the only boy. You know, for here in Asia, it's very difficult to let go of the boy, especially in the Chinese family when you have business. Normally, they will say, no, you cannot become one because you will be the one to take over the business. But in your case, your mom willingly lets you sure, go because sure. of her faith. It's really the faith that is the one that makes her understand it's your vocation call, you know. so. When you were, you know, become a cardinal, you know, then you it, you know already that the the economic affair is not really more up your line. But when Pope Francis, His Holiness Pope Francis, calls you to take churches higher education, so you feel this is more what you like. You have been appointed, I think, a year ago, right? Yeah. Yes. I yes. think. The f uh, 31st uh, of March of last March of last year. So it's going to be so, one year yeah, already, yeah. yes. So as prefect for the Congregation for Catholic Education, it's not really something that you have been used to because your experience is so yes, different, yes, you yes, know? Yes. So how do you see the challenges that you will encounter here? And I'm sure this is your first trip also in Asia, right? Sure. In, uh, as a prefect, uh, yes. When I entered into this uh, new role, yes. I uh, was at home about the uh, matter to be uh, treated. But uh, I wanted to learn how mm. the, the dynamic of my work was uh, in this case. And I had the, the fortune to have a good collaborators, the secretary, subsecretary, and many collaborators, also one from uh, uh, Philippines. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, so uh, after a year, I can see how large, how wide is the, the field of, of, of uh, the work, and the important is the influence, you know, the role of the central office may have in order to serve all the schools and the universities, Catholic schools and Catholic university around the world, yeah. which are very uh, many. And uh, we have the possibility you know, to give a service in the sense of communion yes. and uh, not uniformity, but yes. uh, in uh, leaving the, uh, to the local churches, the possibility to incarnate the message, the gospel message. Also, we can give a possibility to uh, fill uh, 
all together as uh, the same church under the, the guide of the Pope and uh, giving the possibility also to uh, face the stateless civil institutions and governments with stronger possibility you not know, to be represented because of this uh, Catholic universal uh, unity of the church. And uh, I have a possibility to know uh, many uh, leaders of these universities and schools. And uh, we had last November a very important Congress, oh, uh, a World good. Congress uh, of all the schools and universities, Catholic universities in the world. And uh, so we have a possibility now to in encourage this witness that the church gives uh, uh, in every country, especially towards the poor people, yeah. and uh, uh, giving the integral formation, both human and Christian, in the dialogue with, uh, with the world and uh, encouraging the common good also in the uh, civil area, not only for the church but yes. also for the world. This yes. is what Pope Francis insists very much. It's very important as the prefect clearly listening and sure. understanding, you sure, know. Sure, sure. The so, first step is yes. to understand, to learn, yes. and not just to give a, a central and, solution. Yes. No, we are at the service of what they are doing, and we try to unify, try to give also the su institutional support, because yes. when a single university or single school is in front of a government alone is weak, but when uh, it's united with the Pope, especially with, in this case uh, with uh, Pope Francis, who is very popular, so also the governments are listening, uh, listening ah. and respecting more. So this is another way not to help. Opportunity, yeah. yes, yes. Another thing is that I think this is also part of the institution, is really to help the poor to be able sure. to get education yes. freely, right? Yes. And this is what the Pope also wants, yes. that everybody should be given a chance to yes. be educated. In the last speech that Pope Francis had with uh, the participant to this World Congress last November, he invited uh, the um, authorities of the universities and Catholic schools you know, to go to periphery, uh -huh, not yeah. just to stay in the big towns yes, uh, and yeah. to uh, begin a new experiences in order to renew also the society, mm -hmm. beginning from the poorest people. Yes. And uh, I, I uh, underline this uh, um, invitation of the Pope because we must uh, 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 change the world, we must change the society, otherwise there is the risk that we are used uh, by the rich people in order to gain more expertise, but then there is no Christian witnesses, yes, and so there yes. is a contradiction, you know? mm -hmm. uh, and uh, it is important to be coherent uh, with what we teach, with what we do. Yes, and yes. Uh, to pretend also that the Catholic people involved in these uh, institutions have the same responsibility, otherwise uh, uh, we work but without Christian fruits. Yes. This is an important step and uh, uh, we try to convince also, we now also in our congregation try to uh, build up a foundation in order to support also economically ah. you know, these possibilities, scholarship and other uh, help for the poor people. And in this way, we give an example, a little one, but important as an indication you know, of the witness the church has to, to give in this field.